So I'm just gonna start by taking my Miracle Skin Transformer, and this is just gonna help prime and even out the skin tone. If you already have, if you already have a little more even skin tone than I do, you can skip this step, or you could use a BB cream if you want to. I like this because it just really helps to prime a little better. So, as you might be able to tell, I just even out the skin tone a little bit. Okay. Take a little eye primer. I'm going to use Prestige Primed and Ready Eye Primer. Just take a little bit of each eyelid. Oh, I do that a little too much. Then to even out the skin tone on my eyelids and really help this eyeshadow stick and last all day. I'm just going to take a little bit of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is, works as a really great eye primer. Just helped even everything out. And it's really going to make your shadow last. lock it in, I like to set my primer with my Cover FX Matte Setting Powder. And if you're not super oily, you don't really have to do this, but for me it really helps. under eyes, I'm going to use my MAC Prep and Prime Vibrancy Eye Primer. And when I use this, I notice my pores are usually a little less visible, so it does add that extra moisture under your eyes as well. Okay, then I'm going to take my MAC Studio Finish Concealer to cover like little blemishes and little areas of redness. You can also try the NYX HD Concealer, which is about $5 um, at Target or Ulta. I believe they're not CVS now, but I don't have a CVS here. Or the Pot Concealer by Sonia Kasha, which is about $10 at Target. And again, well, the less blemishes and redness you have, Obviously, the faster this routine will be. If you don't have any, then you're good to go. Totally skip this. Okay. Nice little monster right there. It's lovely. Okay. So. Then I'm going to take, again, the MAC Pro Longer Concealer and use this under the eyes. And I like a lot, but again, you don't have to use this much if you don't want to. I tend to have a little more redness around my nose and then to really Brighten up those under eyes. And a little bit on the chin too. Alright, so for that I'm going to take my Sigma Soft Blend Concealer. Perfect blending brush. 
brush for your concealer. Love it. Okay. Then I'm going to take my Cover FX Powder Foundation in N25. You can use any powder foundation that you have. I'm just going to blot that on at first to not move around any of that concealer. I did self tan, but I didn't self tan my neck. So, I mean, I didn't self tan my face because it just fades so off, so fast anyway on my face with all the washing. So it's not really worth it. brush. I'll just use a tiny bit more. Then we're going to warm up our face with some matte bronzer. I'm going to use my Cover FX bronzer in Sunset with my Sedona Lace 813 large stippling brush. I love this for bronzer. like a lot of bronzer but of course you don't have to use this much if you don't want to. I'm just blending that up. And then you also want to get like the top of your forehead where the sun will naturally hit. on my neck. Okay. Then we're going to take some natural looking blush. I'm going to use my Tarte Expose. All time favorites. Swirl it in there. Could skip blush if you want to, but I kind of feel naked without it. But of course. 
progress, the less steps, the faster this will be. And I like a lot of blush too. So if you use these slants, it'll be faster. <laughs> Alright, then for eyes, we're all for eyes, we're just gonna take the matte brownish shadow of your choice and I'm gonna use um, Make a Geek Creme Brulee right here and we're just gonna blend that into the crease and that's just gonna be our eye look. Super quick and easy. I'm just using my Sigma E35. Blend that into the crease. take my Sedona Lays 904 pencil brush and just take a little more creme brulee on the lower lash line. So off camera I just did my eyeliner and filled my brows with my A Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil and for um, eyeliner, my Physicians Formula, Lash Boosting Liquid Liner in Brown, and then a Jane Water Resistant Eyeliner in Brown for the lower lash line, which you could skip liner if you want to. And then I'm just gonna curl my lashes real quick, my e.l.f. Lash Curler. And then I'm just gonna take my Voluminous Butterfly Mascara by L'Oreal. I always kind of close my eyes a little bit so I don't get mascara up there, but it still sometimes happens. Ugh, lash lashes are not working. Take my Maybelline the Rocket Mascara for the bottom. And just a little bit on top. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my MAC Pepper Prime powder for a little more mattifying and lasting powder. look. Um, I had a request from Friend Back Home for quick and easy makeup for moms on the go. So that's kind of what this was. Um, also teens or just anyone who doesn't want, you know, any heavy makeup or just, you know, something that's 
simple. I'm sure this is going to be something I'll do a lot more um, when I have kids of my own and I don't have time. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed and be sure to give this a thumbs up if you found it helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!